This temple is inspired by the team at Kettle and Fire, who produce a, a bone broth product that they sell online, and they primarily promote it through a large affiliate network that they've built of paleo and fitness bloggers who love their product and want to promote it. Um, so the challenge comes in is if you have 100 people, 100 different campaigns running like that, uh, how do you track the relative performance of them and identify opportunities to improve the funnel throughout? So whether you're looking at the visit to checkout page uh, conversion rate or the checkout to ultimately purchasing the product conversion rate um, or the, the order size, the average order size, um, it breaks down this template, all of those individual steps of the funnel so you can be more systematic about improving each of the funnel steps one by one um, versus just being confused about what's happening across your, your affiliate network. Um, so the tools in use for this template are Zapier to pull in all of your order data um, and also Supermetrics to pull in all of your Google Analytics uh, page, page view data to your checkout page and also to your landing pages further up the funnel. Um, so those are the tools. Really what the output looks like for this template is a dashboard and it aggregates all of your data across each of those funnels, um, builds the funnel metric stack, like the conversion rates and the average order size and revenue, all of that stuff. Um, so it produces a dashboard where you can compare your campaigns and also look at a monthly history. Um, but more importantly, it just aggregates this data in one place. You could push it up to a different dashboard if you have like use like a gecko board or something like that. Um, the data wrangling is really the, the big lift here. Um, so who should use this template? Uh, if you're selling a product online and running a number of campaigns to promote it, uh, I would say that this template is for you. Um, and really the results from this template, not, not this exact template, but by using this process, and then we cleaned it up a little bit to publish, um, Kettle and Fire was able to boost their visit to paid conversion rate from 3% to 8% in about five months. And that's just by looking at the individual steps in the funnel um, and seeing where can they take action? Where can they change the UX, the copywriting, the design? Where can they uh, recruit different types of affiliates um, and really getting into the nitty gritty? So there's basically four key steps that you need to go through to get this funnel tracking template. Um, set up and all of your data piped in so that you can build your dashboard here with all of your metrics by funnel and by month. Um, all of these steps are, are detailed on this getting started tab, the first tab in the sheet. So I really recommend you, you go through these and read these in a more detailed way, but I'll gloss over them for you here. So the first step is to get all of your e-commerce order data um, for each funnel piping in to the sheet. Um, this sheet is configured to use Zapier to do that. You could do that. You could send data from ClickFunnels or WooCommerce or Shopify or any other e-commerce tool that uh, Zapier works with. Um, and these will go into the raw order Zapier tab. You could see there's dummy data here now. You can go ahead and delete that. Um, you could also use a manual export from your e-commerce tool. You just want to make sure that the columns, product name, date, funnel ID, uh, which is just some unique identifier for your template, uh, the order amount and the units, you want to make sure that these uh, columns match up with how your data is outputted. Um, the second step is to pull in uh, Google Analytics data. So you want to pull in entrances for all of your funnel landing pages, and you want to pull out, pull checkout visits um, for each of those funnels as well. So this template is configured to, to send that data in these two Supermetrics tabs and use the Supermetrics add-on, which I have open here, to do that. Um, you could just as well use BlockSpring or use the native Google Analytics add-on or do a manual export from Google Analytics. It doesn't really matter, but the key is that you have um, these columns broken out and the same you know, like the same type of data in this column structure so that the template can read it. Um, so 
and the last two steps really are just are just manual setup you want to get your funnels set up properly um, so these these tabs are both marked setup um, the funnel setup tab you'll say okay this funnel is named x or y or z promotion uh, set a landing page path that will match up with your google analytics data set a funnel unique id that will match up with your uh, e-commerce orders data and set a commission so are you paying uh are you paying a commission on this promotion? Is there maybe like an ad spend that you're targeting for this promotion? Um, what what is that? How is that going to affect your your margin? Because if you can see on the dashboard, you know we're calculating profit margin here. Um, and the last step is setting up your products. So um, these will pull in from the orders that you have from Zapier, or you could just type in a product name if you don't have any orders data yet. Um, and you'll want to enter your cost of goods sold and your shipping cost again so that on the dashboard you can be calculating accurate profit margins um, for each of your funnels and over time. Um, and that's really all there is to get set up and start looking at this um, at this data here in the dashboard and comparing your funnels, comparing trends over time, and seeing what stage in the funnel the landing to landing to checkout ratio, check out to purchase, um, if you could boost your average order size, start working on these different metrics. Um, and like I said, you can you can use a lot of different data sources to get the data into these tabs um, as are laid out in this on the setup tab, the getting started tab. Um, but just make sure that your columns match up. And that's it. Uh, if you want to dive in and make a copy of the template, you can do so from the, the link beneath this video. Uh, the getting started tab of the template contains all of the detailed instructions you need to get going, as well as tests. As, so as you go through each step, um, you'll be able to know like, okay, am I setting this up correctly or not? Um, but if you do have questions as you, as you dive into it, um, feel free to holler uh, at losershq on Twitter. Uh, take care.